welcome back to my channel so in today's video i just wanted to show you guys my clean girl aesthetic five minute well honestly five to ten depending on how fast i move <laughs> but like five minute makeup routine that i've been doing every day for the past i want to say month now it's like a no makeup makeup look so let's get straight into it also guys my background everything is different because i am at work today and while i was about to sit down and do my makeup i'm like let me just turn on the camera and show you guys what i've been doing because i've been getting a lot of questions on like my instagram stories and like whatsapp and stuff like that about like how am i getting my complexion complexion to be like so clean and so smooth so yeah that's what inspired this video so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to tame your brows my brows are already shaped um but they all over the place as you can see so lately i've been using the brow sculpting gel from icon cosmetics to just brush my brow hairs down and put them how i want them basically so yeah just to give that light feathery but still sculpted brow look you are in Nassau Bahamas and you haven't tried Icon Cosmetics yet now that I thunder I guess God telling me shut up and just show y'all what I do it but yeah if you're in Nassau Bahamas and you haven't tried Icon Cosmetics yet I highly 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 recommend that you do so it goes on a little white and casty and then that dries away so I just leave it and let it dry and this is what they look like when they dry down and I'm gonna go in now with a brow pen I actually got this brow pen from Shein for like three dollars y'all this has been eating the brow game up like eating and I just do very light hair strokes in the areas that I have like a little bit of sparsity. I wonder if that's a word. I be saying it all the time. But yeah, just some light strokes. Just to make my brow look a little more full and a little more defined. But super light, like you can see what I'm doing here. I'm not trying to go crazy. And I'm not creating a new shape. I'm just going in with whatever is naturally here in my brow. Y'all, it's raining so hard. I hope it isn't like freaking up our audio. But this is what my brows look like once I'm done doing that. I already did my skincare. So I did like toner for a cleanser. I did moisturizer. And then I'm moisturizing sunscreen as well. So skincare is already taken care of. That's important. Do your skincare. Our next step is we need to cover up these bags and bring some like color to my face. So I'm just gonna take this LA Girl Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and I'm gonna just apply it right here. I don't need too much. This is really close to my skin tone for the most part and I also like to use the LA Girl Concealer just because I don't really like a full full coverage concealer for like an everyday type of look because I feel like it's just not as necessary so any place I would normally conceal when I'm doing my makeup I go in here and do the same thing and then I use just a beauty blender and blend it out nothing too fussy And then just because I'm me and I'm extra, I like to go in with just a tiny dab of a brighter concealer. This is Deep Cinnamon from Icon Cosmetics. I let it sit for a while and then I blend it out. Using a setting powder brush, of course. Go in and just set very light-handedly because we want it to look natural and effortless we're not baking just setting so that the concealer don't move my lip dry and crusty oh, sick. don't worry y'all we can figure that out in a minute set the forehead area and I can do a little dust right here 
with my brush just because I feel like sometimes there's a harsh line with the concealer so I just want to blend that a little bit make sure I catch the nose now ladies and gents you could stop here you could just be a minimalist body and stop here but on this channel over here behind this gate we're extra so we're gonna do just a y'all don't talk with me we can do just a slight bit of contouring <laughs> i laugh because i know y'all could be like girl this is supposed to be no makeup makeup but yeah so i use what, what this is bronze the deep dark from juvia's place the contour duo um and i use this shade the bronzer shade and i just put it everywhere that i would put my regular contour but super like lively look you could already see the color and the definition coming back to my face because y'all could be like y'all don't see it but i have a fat face okay a little bit of definition ain't gonna hurt me of course we gotta get the notes of course So now that that's done, I go in with just a little bit of orange blush. Again, I need to bring color back to my face. So. And this is the hydrating setting spray with SPF 30 from Icon Cosmetics. This setting spray means business. The next thing so I, I like to do is just add the lightest bit of highlighter on the high point of my cheekbones. When I say the lightest bit, like literally, I just do one dab into the pad and whatever's on the brush is what I use. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna do one layer of an extension wear 4D mascara. Okay, so now we finished the look off. Usually I use a lip oil. But today I'm gonna use this gloss combo. So it's just a clear gloss. And because I have like trauma with clear gloss, I feel like I look like I've been eating greasy chicken. I'll just put a little bit of this pink in the middle. Just in the middle though, because I still want my lips to have that natural pink color that they have. This is what I look like on a TV. This is what I look like when I'm beating faces. This is just a simple, clean girl aesthetic, everyday, five minute makeup routine.